Hello, Paper Florist. Thanks so much for joining me today. You are now one third of the way through our Zinnia tutorials. So we made two different centers. We made one with the florets and one without the florets. So I'm gonna take those and run with that and do some different petaling techniques. So we're gonna have a simple single petal. We're gonna have a more complicated double type petal. And we're gonna do this one with the different center. And I think you're gonna find it pretty easy to make. So let's get into it. Let's go make some zinnias. Okay, hello paper florist. Now that we've got our centers done, um, we're gonna add some petals. So we're going to do um, a single one that looks, it's gonna be this style, um, but I'm gonna use this pink paper with the red on the other side. And I think we're not, we're not going to need because we're going to do single. It's not a lot of paper. So I'd say just a maybe mm, 10 inches would be more than enough. Um, you could probably do a couple of them this way. Set that aside. And then I'm going to take this little piece that I have here and I'm going to cut it at about two and a half inches. And I think we'll probably need two of these, so let's just cut them up all at once. So we're going to, and I'm not going to add any coloring on this. Um, we're just going to go for it. We can come back in and add coloring to it later. But we are going to make our petals about, um, that's about three quarters of an inch wide. And you want to be real consistent with this one. Um, the the way the petals are going to be put on there um oops the way the petals are going to be put on there they need to be pretty much the same and i can see that i didn't get all the way through on this so i'm going to come back in here and cut a little more and this is our modified teardrop okay i think i get that in there there so we'll get that cut and I think we'll be okay. And we're probably going to need, mm, I don't know, a dozen um, flowers and yeah, petals, I think. Fold that up as I, as normal, I always like to do it. I like to cut three petals at a time. And by accordion folding them, um, I did the same thing here. By accordion folding them, I can get three petals out of there pretty easily. I am not still gonna have that issue with not cutting all the way through. And we'll just take this. So we'll take this outer petal and we'll just, there. And we'll do it again. And just keep cutting until you have a dozen or so petals. Okay, so now we've cut our petals. And I actually, I was able to get 12 petals out of one strip. So that was 10 and a half inches wide and uh, two and a half inches tall. I think it was two and a half, correct? Yeah, two and a half inches tall. So I got enough out of one of them. So we're gonna shape these petals now. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give them a little cupping and we're gonna use that Z technique that um, we've used before. And we're also going to turn the edges down. So we want these cupped down from, from um, about a third of the way to two thirds of the way. And we'll just do all of them. And um, we'll probably come in after we're all done and add some highlights to these. Okay, put these down. So just so 
I'm just kind of grabbing it. I'm going up the middle here and getting a cup out of it and flipping the top back. I started with the Z, but I think, quite frankly, I think just pulling it from the sides is, works really nicely, just from each side. Put your thumbs, two thumbs in the middle, and then just give them a gentle pull. That one looks a little big, doesn't it? So let's just, while we're here, this is what, why this is art, right? Is we're gonna come in and we're just gonna take a little hair of that off of there. There, much better. So we're going to kind of do a dry run here. So I'm thinking that we will come in and you know, because you always want this part to show because these petals, these flowers pull back off of the, um, off of the stem itself. So um, I think what I'm going to do is, let me find a small glue. I want to just apply a little glue and just just the absolute bottom of this is going to be, just pinch it and set it down. And I think that is going to just give us that little, then you'll just have to give these a couple of minutes to dry. Oops, didn't want to do that much, but that's okay. And just, and just take it and pull it together. More glue, and it's just a drop of glue. Just hold it there for a minute. I still have a cold, I'm so sorry. I'm sniffling all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these and I will come right back with you. Okay, so um, I've got them all cut and I've got them all glued at the bottom. And I let them sit for a few minutes because I wanted the glue to dry. So we're going to just, um, if it works for you, you might want to just bend back the little bottom of that. Let's see if I can come up close for you to see. Like this, and then just bend this because that's where it'll attach to the stem. And just like a quarter of an inch. And I think that will make it easier to get them on. Um, you know, if you have a, a blossom with lots of petals on it, if it's not perfect, you know, one kind of covers another. But with something like this, where there's just, you know, a, enough petals just to go around it, um, <laughs> then you have to be a little more conscious of how they are going to sit and that they're all equal. Okay. So, um, I've never done this before, so you're going to be my guinea pigs here. I'm going to put, I'm just going to start with like four of them right now. I'm going to put just a little glue on that piece that I, maybe, um, that piece that I bend it, bent down, which it looks like I have a clog in my glue again. So, we we'll use this one. It's fine. And so, we're just going to put a little glue. <laughs> I have clog here, too. Yeah, that's not working. Um, let's see if I got a wire here somewhere. I don't know if I have a lot, but I just want a small piece. I don't know if this is going to fit. No, let's get a wire, finer one. Okay, so here's like a 20 something gauge wire. And it does not want to open. There we go. There, so that's good. Okay, so we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna put a dab of glue just on that portion that we folded down. And like I said, I'm gonna start out with four of them. I'm gonna work like a clock. Um, I counted the petals on pictures that I saw because I don't really have any um, 
zinnias in my garden. So there's four. Okay, and let's see how we do. So we're going to take it and we're going to do it so it's below. So here's that quarter of an inch. You're going to give it another like quarter of an inch, quarter to an eighth, eighth to a quarter of an inch underneath. And you want it to sit flat. Okay, then I'm going to turn around to the other side. I'm going to do the same exact same thing. So we could say our first one was at 12 o'clock and this one's at six. Okay. And then I think instead of doing three and nine, I think I'll do like four and eight. I think that might work better. Let's try. So I've got one here. Let's try four. Yeah, this will work. I think, I think, I think it's going to work. Four, and we'll do eight, and we'll come in and start filling the rest of it in there. So we've got our mid, our 12, our six, our four, and our eight. All right. And i got to stand that up while we put some more glue on some petals. So we can go ahead and I think just glue them all, put glue on all of them at this point. We'll do those and see where we are. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another one. I'm gonna do our two and 10 now. Two o'clock and 10 o'clock. And 10 o'clock. Okay. Then all we're gonna do is start filling in in between each one of these. You can just bring it right in there. Use your finger to, to, uh, to connect it. You're, and then I've got one, that one doesn't have glue on it. This one does, and it goes right in here. And you know, like I said earlier, you can use any um, type of, of, glue, of uh, crepe that you wanna use for this. Last one. Now, before you start, I really want to put some more in here, but I'm not going to. Before you um, start playing with it, get them all evenly spaced. And then we're going to come back in and, and adjust them after they're dry, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, we could conceivably bring this a little. This one looks a little short, doesn't it? This is the joy of using tacky glue over um, hot glue, and I think we can take this last one. And we're going to put it right here. There. Oop. Don't do what I do. Don't yell. Don't push. Don't pull on it too hard. Then we'll come in after this is all dry. And um, do our adjustments. So there you have it. There's your single zinnia. Okay, so we'll set that one aside. And we will come back and I will show you a fuller zinnia. Okay, so today we are going to make a full zinnia. Um, one like this yellow one. It's pretty full. And to do that, we're going to need to cut petals of different length, of different height. So I have a piece of crepe paper here, this doublet, and you can see it's faded. Um, and it's about just shy of 12 inches long. And I'm going to cut a couple of pieces. I'm going to start with two and a 
you know what? I'm gonna start with, uh, let's start with two inches. I think that'll work. We'll just cut one, one of each. And then we're gonna go to two and a quarter. And then we're gonna go to two and a half. And I think we might need more of these longer ones. So I'm gonna cut these. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so just make sure you keep them all separated. So we'll start with the smallest petals. And I'm having a hard time deciding which color I'm going to put up, but um, they're both really pretty. Which would you do? I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the lighter color. And it's got that nice um, deep background. So we're going to start with these petals. are going to be pretty small. Um, we're going to do a modified teardrop and this is about well it's bigger than i thought it's maybe a little smaller it should be about um a half an inch or so five eighths even for these little smaller petals and these are the petals that will be in really close to the center and our modified teardrop you come around and then come down and cut so that you have just some room on it so I'm gonna lay these out according to their size. And I'm quite frankly, I'm probably gonna need about six of those. Same thing. And it didn't cut all the way through the crepe paper there. So let's just give it a little shave. Let's see if I got all the way through. I did. So we've got six of these. Okay. So we're going to set that aside. Now we're going to come into our next petals. And they'll be just a little hair bigger. But not by a lot. The petal shape is going to pretty well stay the way it is. So I'm going to make these about close to three quarters of an inch wide. And we'll just cut the same thing. It's it's a what I call a modified teardrop because if it was a true teardrop, we'd just be going straight down. But we're cutting in and then down on these. Okay, and display belt. And I'm still I'm still debating what color to put on the outside. So we'll cut nine of these. Um, I really like to play with color. Um, Jerry's going to come in and do something with um, the foliage after we do this one. He'll finish it off. Um, I don't know if he'll add in any color or not. Um, I'm writing a, a blog post right now of my collaboration with Jerry and how much fun we have doing it. Um, it's just, it's really great to work kind of one-on-one -on -one with another paper florist because we all do things differently, right? I'm just gonna slide these in there so I can get the rest of them. So I've got six, I'll do three more. Did I not? I did. There we go. So there we have that. And I'll put this right up here. And then I'll take the taller petals and I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. So they're going to be probably seven eighths of an inch wide. And you know, as zinnias, when I see zinnias in the garden, I mean, I love bright, beautiful, bold colors. Um, a lot of the colors on zinnias, while they're, you know, normally like yellows and pinks, and there's a lot of lavenders, they're very muted. They're not like, like say, ranunculus that are really bright colors or daisies that are really bright colors. They're a little more subtle. They're the quiet sister. 
Yeah, so I started to say I'm writing a blog post to share with all of you about my experience with how Jerry and I do our collaboration, which is so fun. And it is funny to, um, I think he and I think a lot alike. Um, he's super at foliage. I'm not the best. Um, time's going to come when um, I have to do the foliage. And um, I'm just cutting these down a little because they're a little fat. Um, and these will be hidden behind the, um, the other petals. And this one is too. This one just doesn't have that right um, shape. And it's not, you know, crucial that you get the shape really right on these petals that are in the back. Although we all strive to be perfect, like Mother Nature. But she's perfectly imperfect. As Quinn likes to say. Making a mess here. So back to um back to the story. Um yeah, we 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 did this kind of on the fly. Um Quinn had said, How about if you know when Inga was still with us, she says, How about you, you know, you all, the three of you do tutorials together. So we did. We did the uh, clematis and the rose. I want to say we did something else together too. I don't remember. Um, so we did those and um, we had so much fun. And then um, Inga has moved on to um, things that fit her lifestyle a little bit better. And so Jerry and I are left, but I can tell you, we will probably have some guest artists come in and play with us. I'm, you know, Stephen Brooks is our new, um, as the newest admin, took Inga's place when Inga decided to move on. And he's a beautiful, gosh, the work he does is just mind blowing. He's quite the Renaissance man, it would seem. He's a stay at home dad. Um, he teaches piano. He's pretty much an activist. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen. I got fifteen petals. We're gonna start with those. So we're just gonna come in and we're gonna do the same thing we did before. But I have to tell you, I think let's have some fun. I'm gonna put you on hold for just a second, and we're gonna add a little bit of color to these um, blooms that are gonna be in the forefront. Okay, so I'm back. So I pulled out this pan pastel and it's magenta and I think it should be perfect for this. So I'm going to use a small blender brush and I'm just going to whisk it up a little bit on the bottom there like that. So we're not going to be heavy handed. One more here. There we go. Usually I will um, color my petals before I cut them. I just think it's a little more efficient use of my time there. But um, we've got to be flexible, right? So put these back up there. See where that's there. Blend that in a little bit. That's what I love about these blender br brushes. I am constantly singing their praises because they just make putting color on so much easier. Um, it truly does blend those colors. And I think I had, had used this um, blender brush on something red before or orange. And you can kind of see that coming through, which I think is just really cool. There. Um, of course, I colored the wrong side on that one, but that's okay. But that isn't that pretty? Poop. Um, I'll have to make another one of that color. See, nobody's going to see the back side of this, so it's okay. So I'm just going to do these. I'm not going to do the largest petals. Um, well, maybe I will. We'll see how we get, well, how it looks when we get there. And then I've got, I'm getting dirt, getting um, pastel on my fingers, which I have to really watch out for. There we go. There. So I've got three here. Oh, this one needs a little more color, don't you think? Um, pan pastels, I know they're expensive, you know, but I have 
have to tell you, the only one I've ever really gone through um, and had to replace is the white, the titanium white. I did a um, King Protea and um, I started with a pink colored paper and um, I ended up with a lot of white um, on it. It was really pretty and it was so fun to do. So, I mean, I, I King Protea is really big and I, that um, paper really did look like it was white paper before I was finished. So I'm gonna just add a little color. I know that nobody's gonna see this, but um, we'll know that it's there. So we're just gonna come in here and give this a little, just to give it a little dimension. There's one getting confused. And this is just to add a little something, something. There we go. I'm just throwing these around, aren't I? Okay, last row here. And I, I mean, as much as I love pen pastels, and I do use them all the time, I just wanted just a word of warning that if you are going to be making a bridal bouquet and you're using pen pastels, make sure that you um, put a fixative on your flowers. So, um, because the last thing you want to have happen is um, a bride in tears because the color that we put on a flower is all over her dress. Um, for that kind of occasion, I will usually um, use, um, if I can, Design Master. I think it works for that application better. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then these must be here, yep, there. So I got them all and I've got five, I should have 15, but yeah, I think I do. Okay, so I'm gonna clean off my hands, wipe off my table, and we're gonna do some shaping on these petals. We start with the little ones. And um, this is pretty true of, of all the varieties that um, I've done in this series. Um, that I'm just going to use a cup, a simple cupping here, and a, a, just a flick back with the back of my scissors. Yeah, so when we when we make the choice of what um, the paper flower challenge is that we're doing each month, and that, by the way, that decision is made by the members. Um, it's we're Democratic Society, and if you're on the call, the makers meeting, then you can have input into what we do as our future paper flower challenge. So once we find out what the what the flower challenge is, um, then we decide you know who does what. Um, the one that we're doing for September, obviously this one's for August. What we're doing for September is a bloom I've never made. Um, but I know Jerry has been making them, so I think he'll probably be doing the petals and, and the flower flower part itself, and I'll come in and do the foliage, which is not my favorite thing to do, but, you know, I'm a firm believer that the way you overcome a challenge is to face it head on. So I've done the first two. We may or may not use all these petals, but... Um, we have them, and that's what matters, right? And then um, after we're done with this, then Jerry will come in and do his magic. Yeah, so then we decide, and we just kind of, you know, play it by ear. For, like, the uh, Bird of Paradise, he did the actual bird. And because the Bird of Paradise has so much color on it, 
I had a blast um, doing the color. We made it really bright and added lots of pinks and yellows in there. I hope it showed up on camera because in real life it was stunning. As a matter of fact, another paper florist bought my my uh, bird of paradise that I made for the there we go for the challenge. So that that was just such a treat. Okay, so we're gonna start with these smaller petals. And um, one of the things I like to do is, especially on, on the little inner petals, anyway, I'm gonna put just a dab of glue on here. Teeny tiny bit. I mean, literally just a drop. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. gonna take it I'm gonna pinch this just at the very bottom like that teeny tiny that's why you just need a drop of glue to hold that Go ahead and do the second petals the same way. And again, just a drop of glue on the bottom is all it takes. And the thing about I'm a I'm a more is more kind of girl when it comes to everything. But when it comes to glue, I have to have some restraint. It really truly is a less is more medium. It doesn't feel like it's been cupped and it hasn't. Okay, so we're just gonna take it and pinch, just pinch the very bottom of it, that's all. And we're not gonna do the last batch, we'll just do these. glue on my fingers so if you ever have an opportunity to collaborate with another paper florist I strongly recommend it it we I think we've done some some challenges that I've never done before and so we're constantly learning new things and, and if you want to expand your paper flower horizon that's the way to do it so grab my glasses here okay so we're going to start with some inner petals and one of the things that I like to do when I'm making flowers is to um, put them in a triangle so I'm going to just and then remember we want this part to show so we're going to go just below that and we're going to pull them out okay and we're just going to do three of them in a triangle there we go and then I'll do another one. Oh, you know what? I don't think I got glue on here. I don't, those had enough glue on them, but let's go in and make sure there's glue on all of those. I think the glue that was there that was holding them together in the, when we pinched them is what was the, what held on those first couple of pe petals that I put on. Okay, so. And again, just a drop of glue, and then I'm going to come in with this one on here. And, and I'm going to take a look at it from the top and from the back. I, I think it's really important for your placement. Top and from the back to um, get a feel for how they are. And then of these, I'm going to just kind of group them together a little bit. Um, you know, I did these two this way. I'll do this, these two this way. And you don't want to have them overlapping each other directly, but a small overlap is really kind of fun. Creates interest for your eye. There we go. So I've got the first segments on there. So now we're going to move on to our second batch. 
and we're going to put some glue on them. And this one did not get pinched. There we go. Okay, I'll come back in. Okay, put a little glue on each one of these. Now you may or may not work as quickly as I do, but um, you can only need to put glue on whatever you feel comfortable putting glue on. So keep looking at it from the top and also from the bottom. It gives you just a better angle. So I'm gonna come in here just between these and I'm gonna lay it in there like that. Okay, and I'm gonna come over here Oh, I've got glue on my hand. There we go. And I'm going to come over here and do the same. You can see these are a little longer than the ones before it. And we're, this is where we're going to start filling in our spaces. And you really want to be kind of random how you do that. If you look at, um, if you go and look at a zinnia, you won't see them going in, in a spiral like a ranunculus does. You might even see, you know, a wonky one that sticks out in a weird way. And the one thing I want to always do is make sure I'm not putting them right on top of each other. Okay, and just pinch them in there. And remember, this is going to come back and all that's going to show. It's going to sit up, right? And we'll put one here. We're just trying to fill in the gaps. I'm not happy with that spot. Put it in this spot. Move it over. There we go. And we have one more of these. We'll put right in there. It's already really pretty, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna put that back in my block and we're gonna bring in the next crew. And I'm gonna color, I'm gonna um, glue, let's start with six or eight of them. This one didn't get, you can feel it when you pick it up that the shape is off. Okay, we'll start with these. Maybe. There. And just that little bit of color really changes the look of these. So this is gonna be our last size. And that just does not wanna sit up. There we go. And you'll see when you start pulling your petals down, where the gaps are. So I'm just gonna kinda of go around once and fill in the gaps where I see them. I think I could use one here. There we go. And then one more here. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're gonna keep adding i going to put some glue on some of these other ones. I don't want that to fall over. Okay, here we go. My husband says I talk too much, and you can tell me. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, would I be better off, for your purposes, just doing a voiceover? Um, I know Jerry does voiceover. A lot of people do voiceovers. Um, I have a, I have a, someone I follow who's a card maker, and Kelly Latavola does Oh, all the card makers used um, do voiceovers. I somehow feel like it's not doesn't connect to the project if you're doing the voiceover, but that's just my thought. I'd love to hear yours. So if you could share that with me, I would so appreciate it. So I must have been talking so much that I didn't finish working all these petals. So I guess maybe I do talk too much. But, you know, I enjoy this time because I think it's the time that, you know, to spend with each other. Um, 
I hope you'll share with me. I love sharing with you. And uh, we're all, you know, it's a tough time for all of us. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on its backside now. Um, and I can see really well where the, where the needs to get filled in. So I'm going to come right in there. And like I said, the one thing I don't want to do is put one directly behind another one. And um, so I just keep turning it around and looking at it. I'll put one here. Actually, I think that one's a little long. There we go. Put it here. Then we'll come over here. I don't know. Do you think we're going to have enough? This is supposed to be a full one. I did not do this scabiosa style. Um, Tiffany Turner has one in her book. Um, I really wanted to um, do make a flower that you know anybody could make um, easily that you wouldn't have to freak out about. Gosh, this isn't right. So I try, even though it might be complicated, I try to break it down and make it as easy as I can. I'm not happy with that. We're going to move it over here. There we go. Then I'll come back in and I'll add another one in there. There we go. There. See, so you can see and come back around. I think we're going to need a few more petals, don't you? I want this one to be lush and full and not have the petals falling down. They are. And I'm just going to keep adding these in there. Yeah, we're probably going to need another, maybe, maybe even eight or a dozen. There we go. Oops. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, and you can see still lots of gaps. I want this one to be really full. So, I have another strip of it because we cut the two strips of this one. So I'm just going to do a few real quick. And I'm not going to add the color to these. They are so far in the back that um, they aren't going to show the color that we put on there. And I'm curious, you know, I you know that since we've done these tutorials that we don't do um, templates. And I'm sure there are people that are frustrated about that, but if you have a chance, you can go see my post on um, letting go of fear. And I think of, you know, that some paper florists have fear with not using templates. I think of templates as um, training wheels, if you will. And that, you know, there comes a time when you need to take them off. These look a little short, but I think they're going to be okay. And one thing that we will do on these when we put them up, if we if we don't want to, this is just not the right height. Let's see what we got here? No, I guess it's the tallest one. Um, or did I cut them? No, I didn't. I'm just yeah. These are not long enough. I'm going to grab another another piece. Okay, let's try again. So I'm going to cut it at two and a half. A good generous two and a half. There we go. Now we should be okay. I'm going to set this aside for another piece. And we'll try again. This won't take very long. Yeah, so I, I want to know what your thoughts are on templates. Um, have you let go of the fear? Hey, I had it too. Um, when I first started making paper flowers, I wouldn't have dreamed of making a paper flower without a template. But um, I ordered some paper from Castle in the Air and I just picked up a pair of scissors one day and started cutting a, a blo a petals like I thought they would be. And it was just so freeing to be able to do that. I loved it. And that began my addiction with paper flowers. I'm 
sure you can relate. We all can. So when I'm looking at this flower that we're working on over here on, on my block, this is way too big, um, on my block, I'm seeing that the petals just really, once they're dry, we're gonna pull them down so that they pull away from the center a little more. Because the crown, the center on a on a zinnia really is like a crown. It sits up really high. Um, I mean, it's entirely possible that what we are calling flowers isn't the flower at all. I have not done a botanical test um, research on it. Um, a lot of times, you know, like poinsettias, what we think are the flowers are not the flowers. They are they are leaves. Um, that, that are red or pink or white or whatever color it is. And the actual flower is that they call it a bract is at the center of the flower. Okay, so now we're going to just, I'm going to start with maybe six of these. See how we do. This will go pretty quickly. Yeah, so I haven't looked to see if by chance what we're calling the flower isn't the flower at all. Jerry would know. Jerry's really good at breaking that kind of stuff down better than I am. Okay, so when we're looking at this bloom from the top, we can see we're missing some here, you know, because this is gonna fall away, right? It's gonna fall away, and that's where your gaps are really gonna show. So we'll do one put one here. There we go. And I'll put one here. The only thing you want to make sure you don't do is don't put one bloom right or one petal right behind another. One here. I got another one stuck in my finger. There go. And I lost one. That's okay. We'll come back. Put it right in. Here. There we go. And I think we need a couple more over on this side. There we are. And I think I need one right here. Up. Oh. Where did I put that? Oh, up here. So this last, um, maybe even need a few more petals. So this last size of flowers, I really like to fill in the whole bloom um, with that. So, um, I don't have any more glue on those. And we're gonna need more than this three. Oh, I'm just glue. Lost my train of thought there for a second. So I started to say, you know, I know a couple of card makers who do voiceovers on their um on their feed and um, one of them, Ke Kelly Latavola, um, I sent her some of my flowers. She's getting ready to get married soon. Um, she does story time when, um, when she's creating um, her cards. So I do think we need more, a few more. It's such a pretty flower. You know, I never really thought that, never gave a lot of thought to zinnias. I just didn't think of them as special in any way. But they are, they are so, they have that intricate center. And we're also gonna be doing a center um, for this challenge that has um, the center without the florets. I think that they're, are some in our group, maybe newer paper florists, that just don't feel confident um, to bring, you know, to do those. So we want to make everybody happy, which is difficult to do sometimes. But um, well, we do our best to make sure everybody gets to play. There. Okay, so now let's do these. So I'm just going to, there we go. I'm just going to stretch these, cup them, 
and, and I, I do work pretty quickly. Um, these tutorials take a long time. It takes longer to edit <laughs> the tutorials than it does to, um, to do the tutorial, which is really bizarre to me, but um, because after we film the raw video, then I upload it to my Adobe Pro program that does video editing. And um, I will, you know, zoom in on, uh, you know, portions that I think are important so that you get right up on my hands. And, you know, sometimes I'm just wonky about working over here or working over there and it's not in the center. I can correct those things while I'm, when I'm editing. So let's just start with maybe six. No oh, heck, let's do, we've got eight, seven, eight, six or eight. We're gonna do them all. This can be pretty. I love this color, isn't that pretty? Wow. Okay, so when we hold it down like this, we can see where um, a flower might, I mean, a petal might need to be. If you're looking straight down on it, I'd see one up here, right, one there. And if it goes on wonky, that's okay. That's just really character. And I can see one needs to go right here. And we'll do one right here. Oop, yanked on too hard. There we go. See how that's all nice and filled in now? So let's come around here a little bit. Like that. And um, I want to add one in here. And there we go. That one's a little wonky, but that's okay. And I'm going to put another one over here. And I don't want those to overlap the way they are. So I'm going to pull that one off. Okay, there we go. I'll just recenter it. Okay. Just go around to make sure we. All, I think I need one right here. Oop. And I just reach under there, put my thumb down, and that's what I hold it on with. Definitely over here. We may need even a couple more petals. Do you can you believe it? I never intended to make one quite this full, but I have to tell you, and it's true, sometimes the the flower just tells you what it wants to be. And our job is to listen to that flower, what it wants to be. And I'm gonna, yeah, I've gotta add a, just a couple more here. Now I think I might be able to use a couple of these because I already cut them. Some of these I think will work. And I'll just place them on the uh, center. Look short. I don't know. This will work. We'll try. Let's try these that I've got so far. Let's see what we get. Put a little glue on it. And I think we're pretty much there. Oops. Can you see how this one's falling down? Just take a little dab of glue there and just lift it right back up. And then you'll be getting that all caught in there nicely. This is why it's so important to let your bloom die dry before um, you fiddle with it. See, I got the same thing here. Pinch it up there. So let's see when we pull it down. Maybe one here. Oh, too far. There. Nope. Here. There. And one here. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna gonna be done here. So just come in and make sure you um, get all that on there really well. And then after we are done with the rest of the blooms that we're gonna do in this series, we will um, come in and shape this up too. And 
you know, I keep thinking I want one there, and there is one there because that petal just wants to wants to let go. So let's give it a little encouragement. Just a drop. Your glue can turn into a hot, soggy mess if you're if you're a little too zealous with it. So there we have it. Okay. So that one's really pretty. I love it. Now you can see I do have a couple of, of petals here that are you know, kind of on top of each other. And while this is still a little bit wet, you can um, you know open that up a little bit. And same thing here. You can pull that over a little bit. Pull this one this way. There. I really want another. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> Because I just want to, I want to keep adding petals to it, but it's beautiful the way it is, and I love the color. So um, that's awesome. That's it for on this bloom, and we'll come back and we have another bloom in the series, and we'll get going on that. Thanks so much. Hello, my flower friends. So um, we are going to make um, the petals now for this um, simpler. Um, center that we did and I've got a piece of 90 gram here you can use any paper you want you can use fine crepe you can use heavy crepe you can use doublet whatever makes you happy this is a piece that's about six inches wide and I'm going to start with I cut some strips here that are about an inch and a half here and then I've got um this one is about an inch and three quarters so I'm going to start this is going to be our smallest ones and then we I'm going to go here. Then I'm going to go up to two inches. And we're going to cut two swaths of this at um, two inches. And this is going to be a big, full, beautiful. Then I'm going to go to two and a half. And I'm going to cut two of those. And then I'm going to cut some at. Let's stop there for now. If we need those, we'll come back to it. Okay, so we're going to start with these little, this little one that we have, and we're going to give this. This paper has so much stretch, stretch. It's like five times and five hundred percent stretch. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a stretch to start with, and then I'm going to cut some really. And I always cut my petals in threes. It just works for me. So I'm going to cut some really tiny um, pieces here, and um, these are going to be. Um, the ones that are closest to the center. And we're going to cut a few of those. And, and we're just doing the modified um, teardrop. It's just so many petals have that same shape. Roses even have a, a shape that's a little different, but close to that too. Um, gosh, almost, it's amazing how many flowers do. Um, I have to say, I'm never, I wasn't really a fan of zinnias till this came up. And you know what? I really like them. They are so pretty. And I never knew. Who knew? Right? Isn't that crazy? Last ones. And um, we are going to go ahead and roll these. We're going to do this. We're going to do this first. So we're going to work on these petals first. So we're going to take these little itty bitty petals that we have. And we're going to give them a little bit of a cup. Okay. Then we're going to roll them up in our fingers. Okay. Some of them are going to be bigger than others. And that's okay. We're just going to roll them up. And... Um, you know what would have been really pretty is to color these, but I could, maybe we can come in, like, come in later and do that. Um, here we go. <laughs> Easier said than done. Sometimes they just don't want to roll up. Um, you'll notice that if, if you've taken, like even Quinn um, has a has done dahlias, and I know she's gotten um, dahlias coming up on her posy box again soon. Um, she, uh, roll, this is where I learned this roll technique is I learned it from Quinn. And we know what we're always learning from each other. That is the best part of what we do. Um, I feel like I have my best friends living around the globe and, um, I'd love to see anybody who wants to on our makers meeting. It is so fun. I totally enjoy myself. I hope everyone else does too. 
um, you know, we keep in touch with each other. We know what's going on with each other. And it's a camaraderie. Um, I know that um, Wendy Anderson from us, from New Zealand was missing on a call a couple months ago. And I was pretty freaked out about, oh my gosh, is she okay? What happened? I texted her and texted her and, you know, sent her messages. Finally, she, she, she sent me an email, just said it was been, you know, a tough week for her and that um, she had just lost track of what day it was. So last month, I went ahead and sent her a, uh, a reminder the day before because I didn't want her to miss it. And, you know, it's just not the same without everybody being there. Okay, so we've got that first batch done. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. And we're going to give this paper a good stretch, okay? And we're, again, going to do pretty small petals here. This type of, of I don't know what the variety is called, but this type of um, dahlia, I've looked, I've looked a lot of pictures, um, has has a ton of petals, and um, it's you know, and it's very similar to how a um, a dahlia is, except it has that modified center. My center is probably even a little bit big. Um, if you can make your smaller, feel free. Um, I, I I err on the side of big. Um, I remember I don't remember where I was. I was at a um um. Oh, I know where it was. We were in Portland with Leah Griffith and one of her employees. In fact, actually, that's when I met her face to face. Um, one of her employees says, oh, I know you. You make those really, your flowers are really big. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. Well, the same thing applies to petals, right? So we're going to do the same thing with this batch. Okay. And we'll just do them as we go. Makes it more fun anyway. So I'm going to spread, stretch these out a little more. And I'm just going to like take them in at the bottom so they're not as rolled up. Let's see if I can do another one. Yep. So we're going to give this a cupping. Give it a good cup. And then just, just grab it by the bottom here and just let it do whatever it wants to do. This is a, a tedious one. So um, I think what I'll do is we'll go ahead and finish this up on my own and on your own. And then we will come back and do the next batch so that you don't have to sit and watch me do the same thing a gazillion times over. I know your time's more valuable than that. Okay, so finish up your petals and we'll come back for the next set. Okay, we're back. So um, we've got our first two sets of petals done and we're gonna move on to our next one and we cut two of these. And we are again gonna give it a pretty good stretch because it can. This is the stretching mama, I'll tell you. Okay, now we're gonna cut some more of these petals. and. And, you know, those petals, the first two batches we did were really small. This one's at least a good half inch wide. Um, so we're going to cut them the same way. The hardest part I have sometimes is that I, my petals all jumbled up. Um, so I try to cut them in order. And if I cut them, cut them and cup them at the same, at the same time, then um, I have a better chance of keeping everything the way it's supposed to be. <clears throat> so we're going to do this. This one is just enough for four. It's going to be the teeny one. That's okay. Not all petals are the same. Okay, and then we'll do the next row. I mean, the next one. And this um, type of, um, of zinnia is, in my mind, very similar to how you put dahlias together. I'm sure they are very close cousins because there's so many similarities amongst them. And with 
that, oh, yeah, I did not know. There are so many different zinnias. The varieties are endless, not just in color, but in type. And um, I didn't know. I thought they were all the same. Terrible thing to say. Oh, to poor flowers. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do these. And these, we're going to start opening them up a little bit. So we're going to just give it a good, a, a nice cup. And we're going to give them a flare, a kick with your, uh, the back of your scissors. And then just back like that. So, um, once again, I will go ahead and get this done and I will come back to you once it's completed. Okay, so I've got these all done and now we're gonna work on the next one and I know I'm gonna need um, another batch of these. I'm gonna go cut two and a half. We are gonna need a ton of petals for this, I think. Same height. Yep. Okay. And even if we don't use them all, I get such a common petal height. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little bit stretch. And and I know you're gonna ask me how far did I stretch it to? It was a six inch piece, I think. Was it? Yeah, six inch piece. And I'm stretching it to about 10, 12 inches. So there's um, still a lot of stretch left in here. Okay, and these are gonna be longer. And these are gonna be wider too. These are a plus half inch wide. Somewhere between half inch and three quarters. I guess that would be five eighths. Yeah. Um, you know, you would think as I had been a financial advisor before I did this and I worked there for 40 years, you would think I would have been really good at math. And I am pretty good at math, but um, I'm not that good at math. Thank God we all use calculators. The hard part was learning how to work the calculator. But everything takes time. So, yeah, I was a financial advisor. I was a senior vice president with Morgan Stanley for 40 years. Yeah, I retired just after my 40th anniversary. And, of course, when I started, we weren't Morgan Stanley. We were Dean Witter then. But um, I started out working in the back room. Actually, I started out answering the telephone and then uh, working in the back room, back office, and learning all the, those skills. And um, I said, no, I don't want to be in the back office. I want to be on the front line. So um, it was a dare. My manager told me he didn't think I was ever going to be able to pass the test that was required. So I, at that time, I lived in Marin County, and I commuted to San Francisco. And every day, it's an hour each way, every day for six months, every day going to the city, every day coming home from the city, I spent that hour cramming for that exam. And um, I, it was it was not hard for me at all. I, it's a hard, I'm not gonna say it's not a hard test. I think I just was prepared um, for it. And um, yeah, so I think he was shocked when it came in that it actually passed my test. So after that, I moved to Marin to work. And I worked at Morgan Stanley there for 30 something years in that mode. And, but I have to tell you, it was the most, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. I had the best clients. My clients are my friends and I care deeply about them. Um, I miss them. I, I hope they miss me too. But I think I left them in very good hands. I had a good team to uh, pick up the mantle. Now with these two, a lot of times you'll see a lot of variation in color. On um, you know, back back to what we're doing, a variation on color in these, and I am just going to do it one solid color um, because I just want to show you how, what it's like and get get your feet wet on it. And um, we won't go crazy with the coloring. I've done, you know, a little bit of coloring along the way, but not a ton. These these 
these flowers are just so pretty on their own. Um, I saw some really wild ones that would be super fun to make. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stop here for now. Well, no, let's go ahead. I know we're going to need these. And get it all done at once, right? And so I'll just keep on going. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut. And um, in fact, let me show you how to stretch these. Okay, and then we'll come back when they're all done. We'll cut the rest and and, sh and um, shape the petals too. So we're gonna do a um, a like a small cupping towards the bottom here. Then we're gonna take our um, scissors and give it a good um, scissor curl. And all the petals are different, so some are going to be wider, some are, some are going to be turned more. Um, so I think that'll work. So I'll go ahead and finish up mine, and you finish up yours, and we will come back. Okay, we're back, and I cut my petals. I still have one strip left that I didn't cut. Um, and we're going to start with these little guys. And I think the easiest way to do this when I do it is, kind of convoluted way, I put the glue on here. So I'm gonna kinda of do the same thing I did before. Try not to touch all this glue. But um, let's give this a try. Okay, so we're gonna take these little jobs right here and we wanna have them so they're just sticking up, right, I don't need to go that far down, just so they're sticking up right above um, almost even with the um, the center. <laughs> Gosh, my brain didn't want to work. Um, with the center. And we're just going to be um, kind of haphazard how we do it. And um, fill it in as we go. And some of them are going to be higher and some of them are going to be lower. And that's okay. That's how it is in nature. So I'm just going to come in and Take these little teeny weeny ones and see some of them are really tight. Some of them are not so tight and somebody's got glue on their fingers like me. There we go. So we just want to kind of start filling this in. And it helps if you have, actually have some glue on there. There we go. See, this one's lower. It's fine. Oops. Put one a little taller next to it. Okay. There's a teeny tiny one. Glue's starting to dry. Oops. It's upside down. Don't tell anybody. There we go. A few more. If the, if the glue's still active on here. There we go. The problem with doing it this way is you do get gl um, glue all over your hands. And then the paper wants to stick to you and not to the flower. I'll stick this right here. There we go. There. So there's our first round, if I can keep it on. I want to make a couple of these a little higher. And the glue is not holding. Okay, here we go. More. There we go. Okay, so there's our first round. Now we're gonna take our second round and we're gonna do something really similar to that, but we're gonna put a little glue on these. So I'm just gonna put some glue on there. 
These are going to be a little more difficult to put on. Not hard, but you have to kind of think about it a little bit. Because these are um, semi-rolled, right? So let's just start with what we've got. I have my, my handy-dandy blue bottom. Okay, so... Here, we're going to come in and we're going to just start filling this in like right around those first that first batch and you want them to face inward like they're going to open inward so we're going to want us to get in there like that this one goes with those and then just um let's see i don't think this one has any glue on it does it <laughs> here it's got glue here and I'm just gonna take it and push it up here And it's okay that this one's sticking up. We kind of want some to be a little wonky as we go along. So I'm just going to put some glue on the rest of these. Some there. There we grab this one. Keep it a little more open. Because so all we did was twist just the very bottoms of these. So they're going to go on like real petals. There's just, they're small and there's a lot of them. Let's do what we got. Just keep going. It would appear that I have more glue in my hands than I have on the pedal. There you go. I'll just keep filling that in. Yeah, I think I have more glue on me than I do on the pedal. So just lay them down on the glue. I feel like Bob Ross, I'm whispering. Okay, so we've kind of got one side done here. We're going to fill in the other side. And give it some more glue. I know these are tiny little details. Um, makes me crazy. I have to wear my reading glasses to do this. I hope you enjoy the tutorials that we are doing for you. And um, it'd be great if you could reach out and tell us whether you do or you don't. Or We love seeing your work. And don't forget to use the hashtag paper flower challenge. So I'm going to come in here, start with this one, come in here, I'm just going to start laying them in there. This is the easiest way to do it is from the bottom because we're simply just going around in circles. That's what we're doing. I'm just going to keep going. There we go. And again, I think I've got more glue on my hands than I do on the petals. If my hair gets in the way, I apologize. Let's try again. There we go. You can see it's starting to fill in. There we go. This is the one that I tried to get on earlier and it didn't want to stay. There we go. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Last one of these. I'm going to open it up a 
little bit. We'll put it right in there. There. Okay. So we now have the two sets on, and I'm just going to open up as we go. So we're going to move on to the next set. Now we've already shaped these, so I'm just going to apply some glue to the very tips of these. And I like to do eight or ten at a time. Okay, so we're going to look at it from the top. And we're just going to start filling this one in like that. Okay, and once we have that one set, then we can just keep going around at pretty much the same height. And just be kind of even in how you do it. And you're just going to start, we're going to start filling in the gaps here soon. The one thing you want to try not to do is try not to get two petals directly behind, one in front of the other. Um, the reason for that is that then they start clumping together and they don't, they don't play nicely. And they just, um, they just, yeah, just, um, it just looks clumpy, if you will. I'm just going to turn there. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going around here. Just being cognizant of the height that we have. And we're here. Okay, so we're going to set that down. And we're going to glue the rest of these. Okay, here's 10. Let's just fill with these. So we're going to keep doing what we did before. We're going to put one here. Okay. And then we'll keep coming around. It's been quite past couple of weeks. Everybody being sick, please be well. I have a head cold. Um, I've had it for a couple of weeks now. It just doesn't want to go away. But I don't have any fever. Um, I don't have any classic symptoms of, of um, COVID. Other than I have a really hoarse voice. So I apologize for that too. Okay. Just keep... Filling them in here. So I've just been going around and around and around to put them in. Just kind of looking for where do I need another one. Okay. So we'll do the rest of these. So only a few left. If you find that your petals stick together, just kind of throw them up in the air. Well, not high, but throw them in the air a little bit and let them hit your table. And they'll usually, when they come down, they'll separate. Okay. So one thing we're going to do is here is I'm just going to like, um, you know, give these a little more of a curl on the back because we want them to start furling backwards. This one does not have any glue. Okay. There we go. Okay, so coming in, and I'm just looking for where the naked spots are. And uh, let's try over here. And then over here. And I'll come around. Here. and let's see here and then one where do we want to put this guy let's put it over here okay now 
these last ones. We've I'd, we've cut them, but I'd like to make it curve down more. So I'm going to come back in and give these more of a of a uh, scissor curl. And um, be whoops, and be careful not to. I mean, I know I'm pretty frag flagrant about how I come in here and attack my petals, but um, it does take a little bit of practice to learn to do this. It's not gonna happen overnight. And if you, if you ruin a couple petals, then you ruin a couple petals. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I apologize if I'm sniffling. Um, my eyes are runny. First, I thought it was just allergies, but it just, it's not going away. I did, I did talk to my doctor. She's probably wondering. And um, he said two things. One is, you don't sound like what you have is COVID. Um, and even if I could order a test for you, it would take forever for you to get the appointment. And then it would probably take 10 more days to get back to you. And by then, what's the point? You'll be healthy. I'm like, yeah, no matter what, I guess I will. Okay, so I'm just going to work on these that we have. And put a little bit of glue on these. This will give us a start. Okay. So we are going to come in here and start. I'm going to start a little lower on here. And we're going to kind of pull it up as we go. So um, here's my first one. And I'm just, again, I'm going to go around. I'm just basically setting the height when I make my first pass with no glue. <laughs> I make the first pass. I just kind of setting the height where I'm going to put them. Okay, now I'm going to start filling it in here a little bit. And we're going to bring this around, so don't worry about how the petals are shaped at this point. We'll get to that later. just so long as you have a nice scissor curl on them. Let's see, do I have any glue? Nope. Yep. One more with glue on it. So I'm just gonna come in here. Let's see, and we're gonna bring these down. Put glue on here. Just going to continue what we're doing before. We're just going to come in here and just get the get them on, and then we're going to, when they're dry, we are going to really manipulate them. So we're just going to keep filling in the blanks here. Just keep at it. And we see the obvious blank spots. I'm going to fill those in. And don't worry if it starts to look kind of crazy on the bottom. We're going to cover that up, too. So just 
cute. Gonna have it. Okay, so now we're gonna work on some more of these set aside. See, we're, we're coming now, we're gonna try to build it down a little bit. So, give these a little more of a curl. By doing this the way we're doing this, putting them, you know, manipulating these, it gives the glue a chance to kind of set up a little bit, which is helpful. don't really want to go any bigger around we just want to keep filling them in because we're going to press on these and as we do they'll start coming down around the bloom so um that's really kind of what we're looking for here is just to fill it in it looks like i need a couple over on this side just keep working at it this together. And just keep filling in where we were before. This one is kind of wonky. glue on the rest of them and I think we are going to need that other strip you know you just sometimes you just don't know what your paper wants to do and the flower also has a mind of its own and it's going to tell you how it wants to be put together okay so Okay, so we are just going to come in here and keep filling in. And like I said, we aren't going to go, we don't want them to go bigger. We just want them to be the same height. We'll just work on that height now. And we're just going to go around and around. And see how this one's curved? Great. I love that. Just all I'm doing is I'm just randomly going to come in now and lay these on. And see what I did there? I put one right on top of the other. I don't want to do that. I want them to be off set just a hair. And if we're going to cut another row of petals, that's going to give this glue a chance to set up. Mm 
which is very helpful. So we're gonna let this sit now. Then we're gonna start bringing these down. So we want the glue to set up a little bit. So we will do this one last, last one. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that. You can do yours. And when we come back, we'll finish up this bloom and hand it off to Jerry. Okay, we are gonna finish this up, this bloom. And then Jerry's going to um, add its foliage and uh, finish off the stem. These, um, these flowers have really interesting calyx. Um, I can't wait to see how Jerry does that calyx because it's really cool. It almost looks like scales. There's a lot of color in it. Looks like I didn't do anything with this guy. There we go. And there we go. So this is going to be the last of our petals. And I'm just going to keep going around. See if I think somebody's missing something. And by squeezing on the base here, that helps the petals kind of furl. around for empty spots. Yeah, you can already see it trying to come down on itself, see? And that's what we're trying to do here, is create that look that it's going to come down on, on around itself. And there we go. This is the last petal. Let's see, where do we want to put it? Let's try, try right in here. Okay. Okay. So again, we're going to take this from the bottom and we're going to come in here with your nails and just really give it And you can see it's already starting to pull down on itself. Because that's what they do. Right? There you have it. This is our modified center. Zinnia for August 2020. Hi, so we made it. Um, but I did want to go over one thing with you before I throw this across the Pacific Ocean to Jerry. And that is how to... Um, shape your flowers a little bit after you're done. So here's the one that we did with the really um, fluffy center, the center without the um, florets. And then the, this one was at 90 grams. So it's really fluffy. I want to go in and I want to just take my hand, my fingers, and just pull it down. And you can see how it's starting to um, to tilt downward because that's what zinnias do and their center is like a crown sitting up on top of the bloom and then on the um, on the one that we did make a doublet and this is true whether you do a single or a double or a triple or whatever you want to use a double double um, we're going to do the same thing so we're going to take it and we're going to pull these flat these petals down pull them back and that will help that crown sit up off of the bloom. 
So I just wanted to go over that with you so you know what to do after you're all done to make it look truly zinnia. All right, so thanks so much for joining me. I'm glad that we made these blossoms together and wait to see what we have next month coming for you. So thanks so much for joining me and let's move on. Hello, paper florist. Isn't this fun? You are now two thirds of the way done our zinnia tutorials. And I made this bouquet of zinnias from what we learned in class. So let's move on. Let's throw this off to Jerry over in the Philippines and let him finish up this summer stunner. Thank you.